The attenuation test allows the user to easily check the response and behavior of any TV distribution installation before antennas and headends are in place and working. We can evaluate the response along the complete range of frequencies by measuring the losses in the distribution of TV signals, comparing reference levels at head and output and at each household TV plug inside the building. We access this tool by pressing F3 and selecting Attenuation Test. By pressing F4, we will open the settings menu for this tool. We can set up which three frequencies we will use in order to analyze the behavior of the TV distribution installation. This test will require a signal or pilot generator. We recommend to use one of our signal generators, RP050, RP080 or RP110, depending on which frequencies need to be tested. Threshold attenuation defines the maximum difference that may exist between the pilot signal of higher level and the pilot signal of lower level. All pilot signals out of this range will be removed and not used as pilots. Now connect the signal generator directly to the RF input of the HD Ranger Analyzer and press F2. This will set our received signal level reference for the three frequencies selected previously. If necessary, the HD Ranger can supply power to the generator. After that, we will connect the signal generator where the origin of the signal distribution is in the installation, that is, after the antenna or after the headend, and connect the HD Ranger analyzer to the different points in the TV distribution installation in order to measure the attenuation introduced by the same at each point at those three selected frequencies. The attenuation is calculated for the three frequencies as the reference value minus the current signal level. In each measurement, a message over each pilot signal indicates whether the measure passed or failed according to the parameters set. By pressing F4 and accessing the settings menu, we can set the maximum attenuation which is the attenuation level in dBs used by the equipment to show on screen if the signal passes or fails. The measurement data from the attenuation test can be saved through the data logger tool, which we will explain later.